Honorable David Kiplaga, the M my MP, this is my area MP okay. for Soy. Honorable CPA Julius Ruto, Member of Parliament for Business, and Honorable Engineer Joseph Redmengi, the MP for Mgwen. Among us members of Conde Assembly, I'm told that they, they were locked out. Um, of course, you know this is um, a court prisons and uh, of, uh, other, other, other things are happening. And all those who have come, we have people who have come all the way from Narok. We want to thank you very much, uh, Kewa and your team. Uh, and the people who have come from Laikipia, we want to say thank you very much. I just want to give you my assurance that uh, as we are committed to the rule of law uh, and we are working on a very clear conscience on what the program entails and what it entails. So we want to leave it at that, but we want to thank all of you and my people from Nakuru County. So otherwise I want to thank you. See you tomorrow in Eldred in the Revolution Conference and pick it up from where we left. Uh, to conclude. But uh, just to say that amid is told this, there is one thing that you people must understand. That devolution is real, devolution is working, and the conference is giving Kenyans the opportunity to criticize what has happened in devolution for the last 10 years and an opportunity now of where do we go in the next 10 years of devolution. And uh, for those of us in the devolution family, we firmly believe in devolution and we have seen the commitment of national government. In fact, I want to tell the governors who are running counties, uh, this time round, they are very lucky that they have a national government administration that believes in devolution. And I say that because the current national government under the leadership of President William Ruto and the Deputy President, Rikadi Gashabi, I've made sure that there is no money meant for counties that has delayed the release. In fact, as we speak, the release of funds to counties is up to date. So, unlike us, where we had so many challenges of delays in disbursement, they have a golden opportunity to restore the business community confidence doing business with counties. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, it reached a point where when people do business with county, they always think of the risks that accompanies the non-payment from county governments. And as so many people had talked about, probably people thought it was governors who are making it impossible for them to get their payments, but it is now evident that the delay in disbursements was the one creating a problem. So we also want to add financial institutions who finance contractors and service providers in counties that we are now in a dawn of a new era where releases for counties are done timely. So please don't deny people doing business with counties loans for them to trade and provide services to the county. Because counties now have timely releases that is going to help the business community doing business with the county so that nobody now will, will lose their business, lose their assets to auction uh, because of non-payment. So we really want to appreciate the national government and that sets a bright future for devolution. For those of us who believe in devolution to the core, we think we are now on the acceleration path of service delivery in counties. Yeah, Cash bail. What about the two court fees? They all paid cash bail. Yes. Say to one another, Lorit. Thank you. Some devolution back on Friday. Devolution conference. Karibuni. And perhaps about this particular case, you've been told not to interfere with the victim. Uh, do you think that that applies at the moment to what was the man that you were a senator and you have that particular interest? Do you think this applies? Or you know, madam. I believe you know that the uh, judiciary has their own discretion. We are politicians. 
and we believe in, a, in the rule of law. So whatever the court has decided, we are under obligation to exactly keep that. So, uh, and, 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 and personally, me, I'm comfortable with that decision.